Good morning, everyone. Jordan Meyer here from Wholesome Family Farms. The wife is calling the goats into the yard right now because putting out bales with a bunch of goats is a nightmare. Yeah, 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 we're bringing you feed. Hang on. <laughs> kind of funny how you can call the goats in amongst all the cows and they just come right into the yard. Come on, goats! Goats are quite the characters compared to cattle. They're just, they're goofy. That's all I can say. A lot of them are losing their fur right now from all the winter coats that they had on. We got 25 stockers so far already. And looking to get a few more to fill in what we need, I guess. If we get our other farm, the mother-in-law's fenced over there, then we'll be able to have a lot more stockers to graze and stuff. Because then the mama cows and the calves will all be heading over there. So, come on, goats. Come on, goats. Better get these guys in the yard. Come on, goats. You like that goat, Ashton? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, goats! Come on, goats! Lead them in the yard, Ashton. Walk in the yard and call them. Come on, goat. Yep, you call them in there. Come on, goat. Walk in the yard and call them. Walk in the yard. Come on, goat. Come on, goat. When we put the bales out, the, we like to roll them all out so everybody has a spot to eat. When you have this many critters, it's you need a lot of space. So rolling them out works the best for us. and. It's hard to roll bales out with goats because they just completely pile on the bale and it's a uh, it's hard not to roll one over so got them all in the yard here it looks like now so it's just cows and calves left we should be good we're gonna lock her up and put some bales in ready Gabe you got help push ready help push ready push push keep pushing roll it out keep pushing Keep pushing. Keep pushing. A little further. Well, we're back, guys. New change of scenery here. We, the wife and kids and I got the cows fed, and now I'm out doing some fencing. And one thing I wanted to share with you guys is how much goats can really transform a landscape and bring on something nice for you. Last year, this whole hill was nothing but just brush and just brown, dead nothing growing here really it didn't seem like and look what we got here now clover well, i don't know what this stuff is it's like well maybe you guys can help me with that one i don't even know what that stuff's called but it's like it's almost Clean like that daisy stuff but i don't know if it is it's so early yet i guess it's hard to tell but man when i seen all this that is just so astonishing and then look at all the grasses we got coming too this kind of looks like orchard grass of some sort, and this, I'm not sure if that'd be like some kind of a timothy, possibly. And there's other different grasses all growing in through here, and you still got your forbs in here, but goats love that stuff. And we got some burdock, cows and goats both eat that. And got a bunch of beautiful flowers coming, and grass, and still have all the treetops yet. But we can live with that. Yeah, when I, it's, it's looking pretty awesome. It's nothing better than doing all of the work of moving the goats and cattle and managing them and trying to shoot for something that you're looking to get and gain. And it's, it's really showing up now and that just makes a guy feel really good about it. So yeah, if the struggle might be hard, but keep on going. This is proof that it, it works guys. Keep your animals moving and on the fresh new feed and that high density will get good hoof action on the land and fertilize the land a lot better and the cows and goats and everybody will be healthier and just win 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 all the way around it seems like you get more feed it's never ending but here i'll turn you around and show you a little bit of the view here's the valley we're looking at there's the yard way up there. Cattle are just over that hill right there eating right now. Goats. 
And we got this big steep hill. It's kind of hard to justify it just having it on a camera, but I can assure you if I dropped the phone, it would probably be rolling if it didn't land on the flat side. So, <laughs> but things are really starting to green up and look a lot better. And this is a south facing hill, so this gets the most sun. So if you look at like that hillside there, that's a north facing hill and didn't really have the goats over there either all summer long. They only had access to that just during the fall when I got the rest of the line fence up. But otherwise, this hill that we're on, the goats were here probably in July, maybe end of July, August time. So just goes to show you it, they can transform it and it's only going to get better. So that is really exciting. It was just nothing but solid brush. You couldn't even see through here. And the landlord, Bart, he was just tickled pink to see all that too. Last year he said he never could see through the woods his whole entire life until them goats were here. And he was a little bit skeptical of having the goats here. And after seeing what they could do and clean up that brush, he was just on cloud nine. Now he just treats them like there's little babies, of course. So he loves them now, but with that, I figured I'd just show you guys a little bit what was going on here, and I'm going to get back to fencing. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the weather. It's finally starting to warm up. It was really cold here the past week or so. Got down to freezing temps and only in the 30s for highs during the day. And uh, just to show you what time of year it is april 16th forgot to mention that so the way it was looking earlier on it was spring was here and we're gonna be all grazing in a couple weeks and nope that all turned around and even two weeks out now is still a little bit early the way it's looking the forecast is showing no 60 degree weather yet and uh there's gonna be a couple more nights of 29 and 30 degrees at night and and then it's gonna be about mid 40s after that for nighttime lows so but grass is coming on here not too bad it's looking a lot better than it was last year this pasture here didn't have cattle on it for six seven years until just last year so there's a huge thatch layer to get worked in and get the biology awakened up and going again and things should look pretty good this year so it, it's exciting Hopefully you stick around for the journey on that one. And if you guys aren't subscribed, I encourage you to hit that little button right down there. That would be awesome. And with that, I'm going to cut her off here and wish you guys a good day and God bless you. Take care.